now, uh, we like to see some Game 7s in the first round. As we've discussed an awful lot uh, in the last whatever it might be, the, the negative of the NBA is the first round, uh, early part of the postseason. The positive of the NBA is that there is some consistency between 82 games regular year and then what you expect to see in a postseason. The negative of the NHL is that nothing is really established in the regular year. The positive of the NHL is their unpredictability right from the get-go. That is where you are right now. So the NBA had a little chance to establish a pecking order, Houston 1, Golden State 2, Toronto, uh, in a long six-month, 82-game slugfest, Uh, you know, one of those baton death marches, when the NBA is tough, it's very hard on an everyday basis to get a new, it's not a regular season sport, despite what ESPN wants you to believe. So right now, you can start paying attention to some NBA scenario. The problem with it is, you don't get into the good stuff until much later. The NHL, another league you don't pay any attention to in a regular season, because half their teams make the postseason, everybody's got 90 points, you pay no attention to it until maybe the last couple games, a la St. Louis Colorado last week when they're fighting for the eighth seed in the West. But once you get to the postseason, well, anything can happen. And that is where you are right now in this first round. The NHL is going to have some good first rounds. The I don't know about the NBA. Now, theoretically, they should. Theoretically, Portland, New Orleans. Theoretically, Utah, OKC. Theoretically, you know, to a certain degree, you know, you probably have to think Washington, Toronto even. Theoretically, you should, a Cleveland, Indiana, theoretically, you should have some multiple games in the early part of this tournament uh, in the first round, especially in the West. Now, I'd have to go back and look at it, how many game sevens you had last year, top of my head, in the playoffs in the NBA, Cleveland swept Indiana. You just go back and look at it. Boston beat the Bulls in six. Toronto beat Milwaukee in six. And the last one last year was Washington beat Atlanta in six. In the West last year opening round, Golden State swept. Who they beat? They beat um, Utah beat the Clippers in seven. Griffin got hurt. Golden State swept. I got to remember who they swept. Uh, San Antonio, they got out of the first round too. Uh, let me think, let's see. Um, Portland in the second round last year, we have to go back and look. San Antonio played Golden State in the conference final. Houston, uh, in the first round they beat Portland in, in how many games? Five, four games. Remember they swept and they only lost. They only lost one game. One so game. Golden State swept Portland. Houston last year, first round beat Oklahoma City in five. The that's two. San Antonio first round last year beat who? Memphis and six. Beat Memphis in six games. And last year uh, in the first round you had the what was the other one? OKC and the Utah and the Clippers played a seven game series. So last year you only had one seventh game in the first round. Now if you want to go back last year and look at the NHL. In the first round. Now, this would be a little harder for my memory bank, but if you look at the NHL in the first round, last year in the first round of the NHL, Rangers, uh, Ottawa beat Boston. They think they, they beat them in seven games? Six. Six. I'm sorry, six games. Yeah. Six games. Ottawa beat Boston in six. The Rangers beat the Canadians? Six. Six. The, all right, uh, Pittsburgh beat Columbus in five? Correct. All right, and Washington beat Toronto in six. In the West last year, first round, Nashville swept the Hawks. Edmonton beat San Jose in six. Correct? Uh, That left you uh, Anaheim beat who? Swept. So you didn't have a lot. And then who was the last one? Blues in five. So you didn't have any game sevens last year in the NHL. Wow. Interesting that. No game sevens. So last year, my great theory didn't work.
You had no Game 7s anywhere. But I think this year you got chances for some Game 7s. And that's the issue the NBA has. Where do we find a couple of Game 7s here in this first round? You got four games tomorrow. You got four games Sunday. You go this first round lasts forever. They've done their best to try to shorten it up. You remember the old days where they played Saturday, Monday, and Saturday? Or they played Sunday, Tuesday, and Sunday? Or something along those lines? Silver's try to quicken the pace a little bit. It's too, too long. Uh, but there's still a couple of days off, you know, it's a Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday deal. It's, it's too, too long. But it's a little better than it used to be. They've done their best. They had to give TNT the inventory. Where do we find seven games in this first round? I think you can find a seventh game with OKC and Utah. I think you can find a seventh game with Portland and New Orleans. I think you can find a seventh game... Uh, I, you can find a seventh game somewhere in the East. I would not, you know, Washington is erratic, but with Beal and with Wall, I would, that would not shock me if it's a seventh game there. I think there are, I don't think Miami's a seventh game. Uh, so I, I don't think the Celtics, I mean, you can make an argument that the Bucks with the Celtics injuries, there, there are four or five possible seventh games. Golden State's not going to be a seventh game. Houston's not going to be a seventh game. The other two could be seventh games. And in the uh, East, Really, any of those divisional series could be a seventh game. Philadelphia's got youth, so who knows about them. Washington is dangerous. We all know that with their offensive fortitude in the back backcourt, so let's not rule them out. Cleveland and Indiana, you know, Indiana's played well against Cleveland all year long, and the Celtics are depleted getting ready for Milwaukee, who won two games last year against Toronto. So theoretically, you could almost have six first games in the NBA first round. You won't have six, but you could have six. If you're a betting man from a standpoint of lines, I think the only one from a plus perspective you really can take where you think you got a hell of a chance is Utah. Utah is going to be about a plus 120 plus. Little, little scatterbrained. You can make an argument that Utah can beat Oklahoma City. It probably takes seven games to do it, but you can make that argument. You know, that, that Utah team played really well the last half of the season. They were as good as anybody from January 10th on. So you can make an argument for Utah. Um, I don't know where else you can make an argument in the first round. Now, uh, you know, you want to take a run at Anthony Davis? Go ahead. Plus 165. Have at it. You never know. Maybe he's the best player on the court. You want to take a run at the Celtics injuries? You're going to come back to Hornham? You want to take a run at the Greek Freak? Go ahead. Take a run. You want to take a stab at Indianapolis, Indiana? Plus 500 against the Cavs? It's risky. You don't bet against LeBron and win normally. But you want to take a run at that? Maybe you can take a run at that. Uh, Those those are the plays that I think you can make. You can't take a run at the T-Wolves. You can't take a run at the Spurs. I don't think you can take a run at Miami. Um, you know, I, 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 I that I definitely wouldn't take a run at. I, I, the other three, you could take a run in the East. Indiana is going to be tricky to bet against LeBron. Uh, and the West, you take a run at the two teams, especially Utah. That's where you are. You got four games tomorrow. You got four games Sunday. It's a good day for the NBA postseason. And I think they got a little more drama here more than normal in this first round. A, they got some youth. They got some injuries. Cleveland's not necessarily automatic. Who knows on Toronto? Those are the four higher seeds in the East. Uh, the four higher seeds in the West. Curry doesn't play. Nobody trusts Houston. OKC is vulnerable. I mean, and of course, Anthony Davis. Maybe some drama. Half past. Here's Zig Frakazi. Yeah. He's a big Bruin fan off to a good start. Mad Dog Unleashed.